There's 18,000 signatures there that we've collected. Interestingly, it comes from all sorts of demographics as we paddle down the coast. Everyone there agrees that we have a climate emergency and we need to do something about it. We hardly found anyone who didn't think that we had an emergency and just wished that our governments would do something about it. So this is nearly 20,000 signatures and it's the start. Well done. Good on you. That's right. It can be pretty disheartening up in this place when you know that the science says we've got a very short time if we haven't already missed certain tipping points. Um, to then hear debates still occurring about whether climate change is real, let alone um, what we do to act on it. When the financial system got in trouble, um, world leaders came together in a very short period of time and found trillions of dollars to bail out uh, the banks. And my hope is that um, one day we'll treat the planet with the same respect that we do merchant banks. It's, people need to understand this isn't something that's going to happen in the future, it's happening now and the decisions that we make over the next few years are going to determine what the, what the future is going to be like and also um, whether or not what we're seeing now is the new normal uh, or is even going to get a lot worse. I asked the Reserve Bank on Friday at the Economics Committee whether they've considered the Paris Agreement at any of their board discussions and whether they've considered what a two degree glide path actually means for Australia's economy, what it means for stranded assets, what it means for coal, um, what it means for gas. They said no because we can't discuss everything. We certainly recognise that we need to take very strong action on climate change, that ideally it should be bipartisan and again we saw another missed opportunity late last year to do that and uh, we're very keen to uh, work with the community to really drive the transition to make sure that we take climate change seriously and uh, recognising that this is so urgent that it needs the entire community's actions, not just politicians, to drive it. It's very clear that climate change is moving far faster and far more rapidly than we're being told about officially. All of the arguments we've currently got about problems in our electricity grids and so on has got absolutely nothing to do with renewables or whatever. It's all to do with the fact we've had 20 years of inaction and denial from both major political parties. We've now left it too late to make a gradual transition from a high carbon to a low carbon economy, we have to move to some form of emergency action. We have the solutions, we have the science, the technology, we have the engineering expertise to do it. It has to be done very quickly. What we now need is the leadership to go with that. All of the objectives that our political leaders are talking about, jobs, innovation, growth and so on, come from addressing this problem. They don't come from trying to perpetuate a 20th century economy as they are currently trying to do. So we need to change the paradigm, change the thinking and get moving. Thank you. We keep on polluting like there's no tomorrow, well then there will be no tomorrow. And so you know, for all of us, to bring all Australians together to be recognising that this is incredibly urgent and that we need an emergency scale response to deal with it is something myself and all of our friends are part of that. We haven't got a lot of time left. We are going to miss the renewable energy target, I think, in 2020. Uh, and so there's quite a lot to be done.